There were wins for the Democrats in New York City and the state of Virginia. In the U.S. off-year elections on Tuesday, Republican Chris Christie was re-elected governor of New Jersey, and people are asking if the win could fuel a run to the White House in 2016. Connie Lee reports. It was a good night for the Democrats in New York City and in the state of Virginia. For the first time in two decades, the Big Apple has a Democrat as its mayor. It was a landslide win for Bill de Blasio, who pledged to bring the rich and poor together. To ensure that our brightest days are ahead of us, we must commit ourselves to progressive ideas that will lift us all up. Virginia, the critical presidential swing state, also voted Democrat, but only by a small margin. Terry McAuliffe beat out conservative Ken Cuccinelli in the Virginia governor's race. I know this has been a hard-fought race. Part of that, as you know, is the nature of politics. And part of it was that the Attorney General and I had some very big differences on some very important issues. During the campaign, McAuliffe, an ally of Hillary Clinton, played very strongly on his rival support for the Tea Party, a move that analysts say helped him defeat Cuccinelli. In New Jersey, it was a Republican win, with Governor Chris Christie holding on to his seat, winning more than 60 percent of the votes. And the only greatest honor and privilege then being a one-term governor of New Jersey is to be a two-term governor of New Jersey. Christie's victory proves he's a strong contender for the Republican Party's presidential nomination in 2016. The moderate Republican could possibly win the nomination with his appeal to both Republicans and Democrats, plus the support from independents. Connie Lee, Arirang News.